Popular NBA Debate Simulator number one, part two. Today, we're gonna finish our debate from yesterday as to which is the best era in the NBA. So part one, if you haven't seen it, is linked in the description. So make sure you check that out before spoiling yourself here today in part two. So our all decades finals has team 2000s leading team 80s in the best of seven game series two to one. Today, in this video, we're going to delve into these finals in detail and we're going to see and figure out who is going to come out and be the champ and be crowned the best NBA era of all time in history, or at least the last 40 years or so. So game four, game Team 80s was able to hold it down. It's a five point game, but overall it was a blowout by them. Team 2000 got close in the end. So this series is now tied at 2-2 going back to Boston and Team 2000 looks a little bit, you know, disheartened because of the close win from last time but a blowout on Game 4. And Game 5 is really important to see who can go up 3-2 and you can see it's a seesaw game to the max and with 143 to go it's tied 88 to 88 so you know we gotta go in there and see what's up. So you can see everybody is on fire, we got the game tied at 88 all with 123 to go. A young MJ challenges a prime Kobe, misses the shot but Hakeem puts it right back that's on Shaq right there he's gotta grab that but Hakeem, you, young Hakeem is amazing so Kobe is trying to put his imprint on the game and you can see he's just trying to take over challenging young MJ with the shimmy fade away and he hits it 90 to 90 like I said from the previous video there's just so much legend on this floor and as you guys can see Larry Bird is on in crunch time in this game oh MJ with the back cut and one over Shaq so Bird is on this time and the spacing seems to be helping young MJ. I am surprised to see that Team 80s when they're running their offense, when it's crunch time like this, they just go to MJ. They don't go to Bird, they don't go to Magic, they just rely on young MJ. Team 2000 obviously just uh, gonna sit on the Mamba and see what the Mamba can do. We still got Miami Heat LeBron there with Prime Timmy. And also young Shaq. And there's a beautiful back cut. Bird fell asleep and Kobe with the N1. So clutch. This is, is this Mamba versus Jordan right now? And this is off the chains. Okay, just look at Kobe and all his glory right there. That's a gorgeous jersey, number 24. Prime Kobe versus the Celtics, 80s young MJ. This is crazy. Kobe, of course, hits the free throw. And now we're tied 93. All with Team 80s calling a timeout. I wonder who they are going to. Probably Jordan. And you can see Chris Paul is actually leading the way here. He's doing very well for Team 2000. I know a lot of you ask me, is it Chris Paul? Is it J-Kid? It was very hard for me, but I decided to choose Paul over Kid. And Nash barely gets to see any minutes. But Chris Paul is a two-way guard. That's why he's here. And you can see Team 80's got their starters on. Hakeem, Magic, Mikhail, and Magic chokes on the inbound and steps out of bounds. This gives the ball right back to Team 2000 and you can tell MJ is mad. He's like, why didn't I get the damn ball? Kobe catches it, turns around, and blood in his veins. The Black Mamba hits a free. Look at him celebrate back there going nuts. That's a crazy free ball. So we got young MJ is going to answer this and he's not giving it to Magic. Magic just choked it. So MJ's trying to take over, taking on Kobe one-on-one. -on -one. And he travels and Team 80s is just choking this away. So with 30 seconds left, Team 2000 going to Kobe again. Like has anybody else touched the ball? But Kobe gives it to Shaq and Shaq finishes it. Kobe and Shaq is happening over again and is destroying Team 80s who is just uncharacteristically is just choking this away. So now it's a six point game, two possession game, five point game, two possession game essentially with 23 seconds to go. MJ absolutely hits the clutches free ever. Pretty much. So now they got a foul. And Kobe was able to make both free throws, so there's only so much Jordan can do. Young MJ did try to take over, but it was too little too late. At the end, Team 2000 gets the turnover. LeBron is obviously going to go coast to coast with the reverse. Oh my goodness, Miami Heat LeBron is insane. Six point game. Game 5 goes to Team 2000. They take the all pivotal Game 5 and goes up 3 to 2. And man, young Chris Paul. Oh, there's Iverson. <laughs> Random Iverson sighting who has not seen a minute for Team 2000 because Kobe and LeBron is insane. This game, as you guys know, was absolutely took over and won by the Black Mamba with that cold blooded free ball in this fadeaway right here. Up by 6. Game 5 goes to Team 2000 and they're up 3 2. <laughs> Random Iverson sighting was hilarious. And game six goes to Team 80s in an absolute blowout where they just beat the living 
out of the Team 2000. So of course this goes to Game 7. I mean, how could it go any other way? Team 2000, Team 80s, one game for everything. And of course, it's super tight with 30 seconds left. Team 80s is up by two, but it's Team 2000's ball. They call a play for Chris Paul for a free ball. And the man hits the shot. The man is not cold. The man is hot. Chris Paul is proving everything that he can, that he should be the starting point guard of the 2000s. Like, he's proving it, right? He hits big threes after big three after big three in this final series. Kobe and Shaq right there, 25 seconds left. Team 80's down by one. They once again go to young MJ. Not Magic, not Bird, and MJ pulls through for them. Young Michael Jordan hits the toughest layup of all time in the paint over Kobe and Shaq. And down one, 20 seconds left. Team 2000 goes to the Mamba. Goes to Duncan. Duncan goes back to Brian. Brian to Shaq. Kobe and Shaq. Shaq back to Kobe. Shaq don't want to get fouled. He can't shoot free throws. Pick and roll. Kobe, ISO. Another pick. Oh, whoop! And he hits it. Team 2000 up by one. That's insane. Like, this is getting out of hand. Like, this is, even in simulation, this is getting out of hand, okay? Look, I'm just gonna watch. And of course, it's Jordan versus Kobe, as we've always wanted. And that's a tough, tough call on Timmy. It did look like MJ got by Kobe and Jordan foul. Of course, he hits both three votes with two and a half seconds left. And Team 80's up by one. The next shot is gonna settle it. Winner takes all, miss, you go home, hit it, and you win all-time ever playoff champion, LeBron James, wide open free ball, and no LeBron! And there you go. Game 7 goes to Team 80s. There's Magic, there's Bird, there's a young MJ celebrating all together. That, that is a glorious moment right there. That, that is awesome. That's the Team 2000 had the right shot, LeBron had the right shot, but couldn't do it. There's MJ, young MJ, celebrating with Prime Magic. And in our all-time era playoffs, Team 80s were able to finish. Magic showing his love and respect for a young CP3 right there, New Orleans CP3. And the finals goes to MJ, who you guys saw in the last three games of the series where every game was closed. Young MJ just took over for the squad and the championship. Goes to Team 80s. With finals MVP's honors going to a prime Magic, so Jordan acted as the closer, but Magic was the leader. In the seven games, he made these one, and they had a pretty tough road, and they dominated. So there you go, our all-time era NBA playoffs simulated in the NBA simulator. It says tells us that Team 80s is the one to beat. And I guess that makes sense. Although 90s Jordan was obviously better than 80s Jordan. 80s just as better all around stars and Bird, Magic, and Hakeem. And if you put a young MJ there who only acts as the closer and let Magic create a Bird space the floor, it is absolutely deadly. Team 2000 put in quite a fight. But some interesting aspect I want to talk about the roster, uh, only a couple of the players were able to be on two teams as starters. So Jordan obviously was on both. On Team 80s and the Team 90s, one as a 99, one as a 91. Hakeem was also in both Team 80s and Team 90s. One time as a young Hakeem, 98, and a 96 or larger one acting for the 90s. So there goes how great it is. And the only player after them to be able to do so was actually LeBron James, who was on Team 2000 as a small forward, and Team Millennials 2010 onwards as a power forward. So that's very unique. LeBron is the only guy that started for two teams in two different positions. So that says a lot. And here you can see the average for each player. Pretty balanced scoring overall, because it is essentially like all-stars, superstars everywhere. But LeBron was able to put his imprint on both teams. I found LeBron the most impressive, honestly. I mean, two era teams, two time starter, two different positions, no less. And obviously the leading scorer of everybody was the 99 MJ. So he is the greatest scorer of all time without a shadow of a doubt, even in this all-time era playoffs. I gotta ask you guys those, you gotta let me know in the comment section who was your favorite. Uh, for me personally, Team 2000s was mine. Because I, I kind of grew up knowing, understanding more about basketball in that era, so there's a little bit of bias there. I didn't make the team with any bias. I mean, starting Chris Paul was a very tough choice for me because obviously there was Kidd and Nash. But I mean, if it comes to Iverson, but if it comes down to it, you can't take Iverson on Nash because they were one-way guys, right? Like, Iverson was an all-scorer and no defense. 
like little passing. Now it's just all passing. Really, really good spacer, but no defense. Kid was, eh, I think. You guys let me know in the comment section, but to me, I think Chris Paul was the best point guard in the 2000s. Over Kid, over Nash, and over Iverson. That's my take. And obviously, Team 2000 did surprise me. I thought Millennials, Team Millennials, were gonna beat them, but apparently, you just can't beat Prime Kobe and Prime Shaq because Kobe just won't let you have it. You guys saw in that final series, Kobe just. Damn, like he was going against it. Kobe almost won that series on his own. Like you go back, watch the clips of the finals. It was crazy. Just that prime Kobe was it was a joy to watch. Beautiful 2K, because a lot of time I did tutorials and you kind of forget, like if you simulate 2K in the right kind of setting and you give them the right, you know, settings and right rotation and you just watch the games. And if you put enough, you know, story or setup into it, it's beautiful. So I'll probably be doing more of these over time not too many because you know you guys know me i'm a tutorial guy but you guys want to see more of these let me know in the comment section anything you want to see uh put it in there see if i can you know put up a question put up a debate and i'll try to simulate it i got a whole bunch of ideas for this because i do like this to do i do this on my own for fun or with my family and friends so if you want to see these uh let me know in the comment section as always thanks for coming by have a good weekend enjoy your dinners and i will see all of you next time